Waiters. What's the saddest I'm waiting for someone you have experienced? Ah. I haven't bartended in a million years. But the saddest one was a guy in his 30s. He had a two top. Asked for a bottle of top shelf champagne. Candles lit. All that. Told me they were celebrating. No one showed. Guy looked morose. But had an appetizer. Poured a glass of champagne for the person who wasn't there. Then asked for the bill. I felt bad he obviously got stood up. So I brought him a desert in the house. He smiled. And told me it was his anniversary. My face must have showed my sadness for him. So he clarified his wife died of cancer a few months ago. It may have been the saddest thing I've seen. Ugh this one was tough. I worked at a pretty fancy steakhouse in town. And we had a private dining room that could set up to 32 at a single. Long table. To book the room we charged a 1500 deposit. Which we then used to cover part of the bill it was a deposit. Not a room charge. Anyways. This girl books it for 26 people. Puts the deposit on her card. She shows up with her sister. And then after about 20 minutes. Two of their friends show up and sit at the opposite end of this giant table from the birthday girl and her sister. Nobody else came. They waited an hour. The birthday girl was sobbing. The other two just awkwardly left. It was awful. I'm grateful to my manager. Who in a moment of compassion refunded the whole deposit back onto the poor girl's card. I felt terrible for her. I was actually a hostess at the time and I was asked to take the table for a server. An old man came in asking for a table of six and he asked for six waters. I set up his table and I put his order in. He said it was his birthday. He was there for about an hour or two and nobody showed up. It was really sad. He ended up tipping me like 30 and he said sorry for the trouble. I still think about that guy. I hope he's doing okay. Was working an evening shift and a relatively younger guy came in and waited for his date. She showed up and not even 10 minutes later he got up and left and she sat there crying. Patrons that are there to break up are also hard to witness. Guy was dressed really nice. Says his date should be there soon and goes ahead and is seated. He orders a drink and 30 minutes pass by. Then an hour. And another drink later. He started fidgeting with something and I noticed it was a ring. After an hour and a half he asked for his check and muttered something about there goes two years wasted and down the drain. He tipped 2x his bill. Poor guy. A woman came in four nights in a row just in case she got the day wrong. She'd sit at the bar wearing the same flowery dress every night and would hopefully look at the door every single time it opened. Left in tears the first two nights when we closed. The third and fourth nights she just stared vacantly at the door until we had to make sure she left. I never saw her again. I don't think any other staff did either but we all felt really bad for her. She got a couple free drinks and apps. We didn't even care if it was a scam cause she seemed so broken about it. Place I used to work at had a man come in every night for a week. Wait for a few hours. Order food and drinks. Then leave with no one showing up. Later learned he was just trying to cope with his wife's death believing that she'd arrived to greet him at the restaurant where they had their first date. I was a server for five years and the most heartbreaking experience I had was an older woman. Probably in her 60s was waiting for her grandson to come meet her for lunch. When I greeted her at the table she was very excited as I assumed she didn't see him much. As time went by no one showed up so she decided to order. Towards the end of her meal no had shown up so it being a slow shift. Me and my GF we worked together at the same restaurant which is where we met. 
decided to just talk with her for a little bit and give her some company. We both felt so sad for this sweet old lady but we could tell that simple act of kindness made her day. Shame on that grandson. This gentleman in his mid-forties came to my restaurant frequently and would not order his drink until his wife got there. He would wait for a few minutes. Then pull out a framed picture of a woman. Set it on the table. And proceed to order his food and drink. He would talk to the framed picture and have dinner with her about once a week. I noticed him doing this often and told my co-worker I thought it was cute he was having dinner with his late wife and she replied. Oh. No that's not his wife. He found that picture at Goodwill and has been a relationship with it ever since. He told me that a long time ago. What did I expect from working right off the freeway in Cracktown? Very true story. No lie. Not the wait staff. But the wait ER. I had set an OK Cupid date at this nice coffee shop in Brooklyn. I get there. And I know the barista from college. I'm the only person in the shop at the time. So we talk a little. Awkwardly. Gradually other customers arrive. So she attends to them and I attend to my phone. It gets to the point where my date is 20 minutes late and hasn't been responding to my messages asking about an EDA. I'm sweating. Profusely. I'm so embarrassed that I'm probably being stood up in front of someone who I had several classes with years prior and knows most of my friends. I feel so humiliated. Then my date walks in. Stands there for a moment. And walks right back out the door. Barista. Was that her? Me. Yup. Barista. What an asshole. That comment made things slightly better. I'm not a waiter but I set up a joint party for my son and my nephew who have the same birthday. His stepmom decided not to bring him to his own party. The boys were born on the same day three years apart. I set up a pizza party with family and joint friends. His dad was working and the stepmom just decided not to bring him. Long before cell phones. Not a waiter. But was out with my girlfriend and we were seated next to a date. Guy was clearly trying to engage with the girl. But the girl kept looking at her phone disinterested. Guy initiated all the conversations. Only to be met with one word answers. He ordered a lot of food it's a dessert place. So a lot of small meals and then the girl suddenly took her bag and left. He banged the table after about paying. And just left with the food untouched. Everyone in the vicinity. Including the waiters were visibly shocked. I felt so bad for the guy. Once at my shift I saw a really shy guy. You could see that he is on a budget. But OMG. He was so trying so hard and looked so exited about upcoming date. He brought one rose. And asked what he can purchase on 10 euros to make this evening beautiful. My heart melted so much that I offered him for free two glasses of wine and a dessert I was a manager. We put on a table some candles. And so he was sitting there and with the big smile waiting for his date to come. But she never came. He waited like two hours. Nervously checking on his phone. When he left. He gave this rose to me and thanked for kindness towards him. He was so broke. So was my heart about this situation. Not a waiter here. On my 18th birthday this girl invited me out to drink with her friends. Because all of mine were too young to drink. I said no at first. But they insisted so I went along. Got there when they said they would. Ended up waiting at the bar two hours before they showed up. Had a short introduction and then they went off to the bathroom. One of her friends came back out and told me that she wanted me to leave. It really hurt. But I didn't see the point of arguing. 
Worst part was when I got home I found out she was spreading lies that I had stalked her to the bar and told all our mutual friends. One hell of an 18th birthday. We had a 21st birthday party booked for 20. The family showed up early with a few friends. They had a few drinks and let the staff know some of the party were running late. Half an hour in. When the late people were supposed to arrive. Two friends left. An hour went by and the birthday group ordered. Got their starters. Told the service staff some more people were coming. About two hours in the mother said just bring the mains out. It was so sad. I felt so bad for them. Being stood up by 14 people. And the two friend who did show up didn't even eat. A few years ago. I took myself to a movie and dinner. It was the weekend before Valentine's Day. At the time I had a warehouse gig and that day my step counter was at 7. 9 kilometers. Being exhausted. I just sort of plopped down. Ordered quietly. Sipped a beer. And derped around on my phone. I must have looked like I was on the verge of tears in reality I'd been rear-ended at a red light the week before and just hurt all over. Server comped my cheesecake. Smiled politely. And quietly remarked honey. It is going to be okay. Until that point I wasn't sad to be alone but after that I was fighting tears all the way home. 